Another favor for a friend. 17 inch long. 3.8. No wonder if the end breaks up. I forgot to take a picture before I cut it, so I just put it together for the view. It used to be a key for a large chunk. I didn't need another chunk key. The original was much too short. I had to make a new one, a longer one. I couldn't cut it with a saw. It was a very hard material. That was a nice clean cut. For milling, I have to anneal that. It's much too hard. After annealing, it's still a tough material, so I did not tamper it. If it's needed, if I see some mark on it, I gonna do that. It was tightly on so the crooked part could be turned up. It had to be adjusted because I didn't want to take off from the flat part. I only wanted to mill the, mill the flare further down with a smaller mill. The roughing mill at this point still turning uh, just over a thousand RPM. Now I have to find a way how to hold it in a 5-3 collet. I had to turn a similar diameter as the part itself and screw on the at the end. Now I can use a 7-8 collet. I started with a 3.8 rocking mill, but for this job, a 3.8 brand new carbide 3.8 end mill was much better. I even dropped the RPM down to 370. Change, change to a half inch R8 collar. The hole had to be enlarged halfway to a half inch to make it to make the bolt loose. I meant loose. The square part was only straightened out, just touched. Flats were continued and uh, the large flare was taken out, used up to make, it long, to make the flats longer. Instead of three eighths, now it's a half inch end.
looseness of the air bolt is necessary that the torque is taken up by the bar and not the bolt. Now it's a half inch breaker bar. Well, if he wants a 3 8 end, buy a quality adapter like this snap-on tool. Like always, thank you for watching.